Hey guys, it's Cameron again, and the wait is now officially over. That's right, I am done with college for the summer. So I'm now gonna be out for two and a half months, which will give me plenty of time to catch up on all those videos I've been promising you guys, catch up on some reading, to catch up on some writing. Real fast, I just wanna send out a quick thank you to all my subscribers out there for waiting on me to make a video and for being so patient. I hate leaving you guys hanging like that, so I'm really sorry for not making any videos lately. You know, this is kind of a fun thing for me. It's, it's kind of a hobby, just talking about books and movies and, and all those things that we love. But sometimes in life, you gotta put aside the fun things and concentrate on the more nitty-gritty and getting that done. Fortunately though, all of that's done for the next couple months, so you can definitely expect a ton of videos from me. I'm going to be doing some shout-out videos, some book reviews, expect to see a lot of tags from me, plus I've had a lot of requests these past couple months, so I'm going to be buckling down and getting all those videos filmed for you guys. But as of right now, I have a massive book haul, so I'm going to just quit rambling. First up, I went to Ollie's, which is a store I've told you guys about a hundred times before. It's this magical, magical bargain outlet center that I just love to death. And they always have new books there, so I try to go every month to see what new things they have. And this last time I went, they had a ton of new books that I, I seriously, I was mind blown at some of the things that they had, and you're not going to believe the deals that I got. First thing I picked up is A Million Sons by Beth Revis. This was only $2.99. This just came out like two or three months ago, so that's a pretty good deal. I already have the first book in the series called Across the Universe and I've been wanting to read it really bad so I should be getting around to that pretty soon. So once I finish it I can go ahead and read the second book in the series and I hear this is kind of a mystery set in space and you guys know me, you know, mysteries and then set in space on top of that. I'm pretty sure this book was written for me. The next book I picked up was Blood Rose by Andrea Kramer. This is the third book in the Nightshade trilogy. I already have the first book, but I'm still missing uh, the second book, Wolfsbane. So I definitely need to get a hold of that, so that way when I do start reading the series, I can just read them straight through. And again, this is a brand new hardcover, and it was only $2.99. This next book I was really excited to find. I was going to buy it when it first came out, but for some reason, I just didn't get around to it, and I don't know why. And now it's being made into a movie, so I was desperately trying to track down a first edition hardcover, because I knew that once the movie comes out, it's the first edition is going to be worth a ton of money, just like Hunger Games was. And that is Blood Red Road by Maura Young. I've really been wanting to read this book, so I'm really excited to dig into it. And I'm really excited for the movie as well, because it's going to be directed by Ridley Scott, who is a phenomenal director, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to reading the series. Plus, this is the original cover, which I prefer over the new one that just came out. The new one's really, really cool, but this one's just, I don't know, it's got more of an atmosphere to it, which I really like. The next book I got is The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. And this is another book that I've really been wanting to read. It's a ghost story, which features Jack the Ripper, which sounds really, really cool. This was only $2.99. Next, I got Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. This is the first book in the Bloodlines series, which is a spinoff of the Vampire Academy series. I have not read any of the Vampire Academy books yet, but I really want to because I hear they're like on a totally different league than the Twilight series, which I wasn't a big fan of, but I hear these are really good, so I'm going to give them a shot. I know I can't read this book until I've read the Vampire Academy series, but this was only $2.99, so I thought, what the heck, go ahead and pick it up. Okay, so, you guys, this is the big one. Alright, this is the kicker right here. This, I was floored to find. Alright, it's The Replacement by Brenna Yovanoff. I was really excited when I saw it, because I've just I'm wanting to read it so bad. It was only $2.99, so I thought, oh, that's awesome, I can finally read this book. So I looked inside just to see if it was a first edition, and it is, but when I looked inside, I also found this right here. That's right. It's signed by the author herself, and that is, I did a happy dance in the middle of the store. I really did. All right, the next place I went was Walmart, and I was just looking around, and I saw a big bin of bargain books there, so I dug through, and I found some really cool things. I picked up Hourglass by Claudia Gray. This is the third book in the Evernight series. I have not read these books yet, and I don't have the other books, but I hear it's a pretty good series, and this was only $4, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. The rest of these are all adult, by the way. I got Horns by Joe Hill. For those who don't know, Joe Hill is Stephen King's son, so I'm really curious to see what his writing style is like and to see how he matches up to his dad. But I've heard really good things about this book, and I heard it's actually pretty sad, so I'm curious to read it for myself and see what it's like. 
And next up, I got Flirt by Laurel K. Hamilton. This is a book in the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series. I've been wanting to start this series lately. I've heard some pretty good things about it, and then some not so good things, but um, I need to pick up the first book at some point and just kind of read it and see what I think about it, and then maybe I'll continue reading the series. This is like book 19 in the series or something like that. So apparently Miss Hamilton here just keeps pouring them out. That's a bit of a turnoff for me because, I mean, that's a lot of books to read. But like I said, I'll give the series a try and see what I think about it. This book was only $4. Plus, I really like the cover, so I thought I'd just go ahead and pick it up. And lastly, I got No Mercy by Sherilyn Kenyon. I think is how you pronounce her last name. I'm not really sure about that, so don't hold me to it. This is a book in the Dark Hunter series. Again, I have never read any of the books in this series, but I do have um, Infinity, which is the first book in the YA spinoff series of this series. So I'm definitely gonna read that first because it's kind of a, I think it's kind of a prequel, I'm pretty sure. So I'll read that YA series first and then I'm gonna start reading these. And this last book I got was sent to me by an artist. His name is Bing Davis. I had to interview him for my anthropology class for college and he wound up sending me a signed copy of his book and it is called uh, the Urban Mask series. And this is just a book of pictures of his art and this uh, mask, the series of masks that he created. And it's a really nice book. It's got really glossy paper and it's kind of, the dude's talented, I'm telling you. Bing Davis is a nationally known artist. He was actually featured in the Smithsonian and was asked to come to the White House. So he's made his rounds, that is for sure. And as you can see, he signed it for me, which was really cool. I was not expecting him to, to send me this, so I was really floored when I got this in the mail. But those are all the books for me right now. I really hope you enjoy this video, and stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of videos coming from me over these next few weeks. But until then, I will see you guys later. Bye.